Good afternoon, everybody, and thank you for being here with us today. Today, I convened the Hendry County Grand Jury, and I am here today with our Sheriff of Hendry County, Steve Whitten, and his team and my team to announce a grand jury indictment against Ian Bonnock for first degree murder, abuse of a dead human body, and tampering with evidence. The defendant is accused of murdering his estranged wife, Katie Samantha Bonnock, a young mother between September 29th and September 30th, 2022, at his home in Hendry County. The victim was reported missing, and she never returned from going to the defendant's house to retrieve some of her belongings. Her car was still at the defendant's home when law enforcement arrived. The Hendry County Sheriff's Office, led by Sheriff Steve Whitten here beside me, and his team, including Lieutenant Rowan, went to the scene immediately to try to find the victim. Their extremely swift actions and quick work in this case helped find evidence and retain evidence before it was destroyed by the defendant, thus leading to this indictment today. Sheriff Winnen will now say a few words about his agency's involvement in this arrest. Thank you, Sheriff Winnen. Good evening, everyone. On well, Friday, September 30th, around 7.30 a.m., uh, just a couple days after the hurricane hit, um, I received a knock on my door from a neighbor that lived a few doors down who happened to be friends with the victim, Katie. Uh, she advised me that earlier that night, around 9 o'clock, Katie had dropped her kids off with them and asked her to watch them while she received, re went to retrieve some items from her ex-husband's house, Ian Bonnock. Um, the neighbor advised me that she had never returned and they, they could not get a hold of her at that time. Um, that led me to believe that something bad had happened, knowing the history between the, the Bonics uh, and their, their divorce that was back in, in February. Um, at that time, I notified our road patrol division to have them go out and knock on the door to see if she was still over there at uh, Ian's house, which uh, they were not able to contact either one of them. Uh, that time I realized uh, it made me believe that something bad did definitely happen at that point. So a uh, search warrant was obtained to enter the property of the Bonnich residence uh, to look for Katie, um, which we did to no avail. Um, once we were there, we did see some items that, that made us believe that something egregious had happened to Miss Katie. Uh, that time we received a secondary search warrant to look for further evidence, uh, which we found a lot of evidence, uh, overwhelming evidence, I believe that Katie uh, had died at that time at that residence. Um, this is a very egregious crime. Um, I believe that if the suspect had just a few more hours, he might have finished cleaning up his crime scene and, and we might still be looking for this in person at this time. But I do want to say thank you to uh, some folks here because without their cooperation, uh, we couldn't make an arrest on this as swiftly as we did, and that's to uh, Amir from the, our state attorney and A. Thornburg and Alyssa. Uh, they did a wonderful job working with us, uh, again, very swiftly as well. Um, also to the Florida Department of Law Enforcement who came out at our request to help us uh, look for some uh, finite evidence. Um, Lieutenant Mike Rowan, um, outstanding job. Uh, he gathered his team, uh, they responded immediately, and there in the uh, Bustamante, Detective Zimmer, Sergeant Mayor McNeil, I want to give them a, a shout out because of their detail and their search to, to find the, the minute pieces of evidence that we needed to make this case. So, but you know, this indictment today um, is just the first step in justice for Katie, and it's the first step in justice for Katie's friends and her family. And it's the first step in rehabilitation for their two small children, which unfortunately are now orphans. So. Um, again, this is an egregious crime, and I, I desperately hope that uh, justice will be served in this. Thank you. Thank you so much, Sheriff, and thank you again to your team for such excellent work. 
Bonnock is currently incarcerated in the Hendry County Jail and will now have this charge of first degree murder and the other two charges added. I hope that today's indictment starts to bring some sense of justice to the family and the friends of the victim as they grieve their loss. And of course, our thoughts are with them and also with her children today. I wanna to extend my gratitude to my team, Deputy Chief Assistant State Attorney Abraham Thornburg, who runs our Hendry and Glades office, and Assistant State Attorney Alyssa Wolf, who is our Assistant Office Chief and our felony chief here in Hendry County. They will be prosecuting this case together. And again, thank you to the members of the Hendry County Sheriff's Office team. Also, I want to extend my gratitude to the members of the grand jury who worked very, very hard, gave this case their full attention and focus, and listened very carefully to the evidence in returning this indictment today. And thank you to all of you for being here with us. Thank you. Uh, will you guys take a couple questions? Uh, we can't answer any questions about the facts of the case. We sure. can answer questions about the court scheduling and things mm -hmm. like that. Um, so the, the question I have is, my understanding is that in March of this year, the Henry County Sheriff's Office referred a report to you guys of uh, Ian threatening to kill Katie and kicking her at their home. What ended up happening with that case? Uh, I'm not going to comment on any prior cases between the two because of this current case and the possibility that some of that might be used in this current case, so I can't comment on the evidence in that prior case. And so you won't be able to comment on the strangulation case from 2021 earlier? Uh, I can't comment on any facts of those cases. Okay, thank you. Can we get correct spelling of the names, please? Yes, sure. Uh, Ian, I-A-N, and then Bonnick is B-A-U, N-A-U-C-H. B-A-N-A-U-C-H, I believe, is that correct? Yes. B -A -N -A -U -C -H. It'll be on the press release following as well. B-A-N-A-U-C-H. All right, thank you so much, everybody.